In the face of, you know, Nitty talked about the suicide thing. Did that kind of shift your whole energy towards the battle? Not. It made me more a little bit more confident in everything he was doing. Okay. Especially that because he hit it with the, we going to talk about that. And I knew what I had in my second round. Mm -hmm. And I also... Which was one of my favorite rounds that I... Appreciate yeah, it. Appreciate it. Lit. And yeah, I also freestyle. So I'm like, all right, if he come Crazy. with that, and that happened to be... Because you know his slogan, he said in the first round. I'm yeah. like, so if he come with that in the first round, and this is my second, I'm about to, like, play with my paws, you know what I mean? And then make it, like... Like the whole half of that round was a freestyle. I was gonna switch it up and like be more direct with it. But mm -hmm. when he didn't say it, I was like, all right, I'm gonna just keep what I wrote. So it yeah. kind of made me more confident. That don't that don't bother me, like right. because people been talking about it for years. Okay, mm -hmm. I talk about it. If you could Google it, and before I started battle rapping, there's yeah. an interview with me talking about it. So it don't bother me. But I will say it did bother other people close to me. Like I was yeah. getting calls after that, like yo, what, what up with that nigga? And I'm like, nah, it's not, it's, <laughs> it's not, not like it's that. Not like, it's yeah, it's like problem. Yeah. Like this is battle I rap. Think, I think right. a lot of battle rap fans just saw that and was like. Why, why are you? Not yeah, but I also don't want people to be like, when he like, yeah, I should have did that shit. You know, because if it was a nigga, would you still had retract that statement? You mm. get what I'm saying? Don't mm. make it seem like you got to be gentle with me because I'm a girl. Because these yeah. bitches don't give a fuck. They're talking about that shit. The heart slogan was like, uh, you might try to kill yourself again. Right. 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 Okay. So you think okay. you saying okay. it at this point okay. is going to okay. bother me? Fuck like, I, I, yeah, because you it's know, actually my superpower at this point. As the fans, exactly. it's, like, it's like yo, like yo, nitty, why you go there with her? Da da da. But I see what you're saying. It's right. like nah, treat me like how you treat everybody exactly. else. Exactly. But like, also, I mean, he did kind of pull it out randomly. He realized he was losing. It. He just came out of nowhere with it. Did you try to kill yourself? Nigga, uh, <laughs> <laughs> he was talking about WNBA versus NBA. How did you get there? <laughs> 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 it's like it, his uh, angles just ain't. Yeah, it was mad random. He's not, he's not good with angles. That's what I'm like, oh, I see what this is. You just blurting out anything. You uncomfortable right now. So it just kind of made me more and more confident at that time. Is it so just so you don't have a problem with people bringing that up? Nah, not at this point. I, when I came into battle rap, you come into battle rap, news. niggas gonna talk about everything. Like, I, I everything. don't care. Like, you know what I'm saying? Right. And I've already moved past that point. And me going through that made me such a better person now and gave me the confidence to even stand up in front of these audiences. Right. So I don't see it as a scar. I see it as a superpower now. Right. Like, because you, you see get... everything. Go ahead. I'm sorry, go ahead. Now I was about to say, because you see, when people do use the angle, I usually always have some fire shit to respond to it. Right. So now every time y'all bring that up, it's going to backfire on you. Mm -hmm. So how, how did people even discover this? When I battle precise, like I said, I used to be a part, well not, I can't say used to be a part, I'm still a part. It's a non-profit organization that I work with yeah. and we did like some promo talking about it. That was one of the main things I used to speak to kids about in schools and, and shit like that. Mm -hmm. So it was a video out when we was promo and a school tour we was doing and I spoke on it on how I came to the program. So Precise was the first one to find that video when we battled, and then that's when she brought it up. How did you find it? Find it? It's on YouTube. You can still look Google. it up to this day. That's what I said earlier. Like it's on YouTube. Before I started battle rapping, there's a whole mm -hmm. interview up there with me talking about it. So is it is it like like the, it, was it the same type of thing with Saga where he when he was talking about? About the, <laughs> it's, it's not, it's not, no, I don't know if it's like, nah, cause Saga's if it's the same thing, funny. I don't know what with that. Saga's video is a little funny, but kind of, yeah. yeah it was like, but, but it's like a confessional. It wasn't a confessional. It was me talking about the program that I work with and how I came and to the program. Me. And right. you get what I'm saying? And what I do for the program. It wasn't like me saying, hey, guys. You know, I'm a recovering suicidal person. Right. You know, it wasn't like that. It was me talking about the work I do with kids and the program and, you know what I mean, that right. being a piece of it. Right. So how, how long have you been doing that? Uh, like, shit, probably since right after that happened. Like, because the lady that run the program, she was the one who came to see me in the hospital and everything and brought me a, I never forget, she brought me a notebook and some McDonald's and she said, now tell your story. I was literally in a cycle. Like, all right, cool. Wow. So when I came out, I like dropped the mixtape and then we just started. And this was like when I was 15, 16. Wow. You get what I'm saying? So and then that's wow. when we started doing the school tours and all that other type of stuff. Yeah. So I, I mean, I hate to, 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 to change the subject too much, but I feel like a lot of our viewers... Um, they use battle rap to kind of get away from their own issues. Right. Mm -hmm. However, when they hear stuff like this, it's like they identify with it. And some mm -hmm. of them are at a point where they can use the information that right. you have to help themselves. Right. Mm -hmm. So if you could divulge whatever the you know the program information is, how to get in contact with Oh yeah, piecesoflifestyle.com, lifecaminc.com, or you could just hit me up on Instagram and Twitter, you know, it's all that. Everything's still moving. Or, That's what's now, when you get into the battle, 
You know what I'm saying? Are you thinking? Do you have that energy from all of that shit, the face-off? So did the face-off help with your energy or did it? it, it all right. <laughs> this is funny. And I ain't going to blow my mans up, but I, the face-off made me confident, right? Uh-huh. Mm-hmm. I get a call from a very close friend probably about two hours after the face-offs is over. Yo, not for nothing. I heard this nigga rounds and he's trying to take your fucking head off. Okay. Don't think he about to play with you. I'm like, yeah, but and, 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 he was like, he not even bringing up the suicide in the bars. He, I'm like, so what else he say? He like, I ain't gonna do that. That's fucked up. But he trying to take your head off. And I'm like, my nigga, it's the night before the battle. I don't need to hear right? this shit. Right? This ain't no help. Yeah. This ain't no help. I get it. Like, I get where he was coming with it. But it's like, what the fuck am I gonna do now? Right? right. Three new rounds? Yeah, like, yeah, no. Yeah. Like, so yeah. it was like kind of up and down, up okay. and down. You okay. know what I mean? And then of of course, the, the jitters from once you start rapping, that's kind of why I fucked up in my third. So it was like going back and forth. But for the most part, I was confident because a lot of my late battles, if y'all seen lately, like I be bullshitting right in the day before. And I felt confident because I was prepared. I'm like, oh, nah, this, like this is the most I've been prepared in like a good year. So I was mostly confident going into it. Mostly, I could say. Yo, is it just me or it's starting to feel as if Nitty is like too accepted? Yeah, he's too. He saturated himself down. He, uh, but he he, he, he has a himself. blog out. Yeah, yeah. Like he battles every everybody. Card. So he's, a, he's I realized supposed to. He's yeah. rapping against her. He's saying some actual dope shit. Right. And, and it wasn't hit. They don't had really that. Care. He's saying right. saying yeah. something. No, his, no. his style like, I'm is like, no, nobody's it's becoming reacting. redundant. But what is he supposed to do? Nobody's reacting. Chill. Like you gotta do other like something. You really want to know what he's supposed to do? Be in a movie or something. So, I don't no. care. Like, just, just, just be different. Mm-hmm. Like, yeah, just be different. Stand out. A lot of these guys, they sh- they show up with the huh? same game plan. No, 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 no. I, mean, I think like, he should like, battle. Us. I mean, maybe fucking grow beard. <laughs> but look, you know how when he battled you, he had that whole segment but where he was talking about say? his life. What did you say when we was like? Off it, air? it was in punchlines. You don't right. watch battles that about, they battle. He got to do shit like that too. Do you watch? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Oh, Not just punch. That's right. the thing. He battles every card. Right. So it gets repetitive. Like I definitely saw him and Reed. Right, no, okay. it's his style. It's Summer Madness. It's his style, y'all. It's his style. Shit. The way he raps, after a while, you're not impressed with it because it's kind of like the same thing all the time. But it's great, right? So it th- that's what's tough because he's he, yeah, but, the, his, but, uh, his punches are like... Sometimes I be like, damn, like, how did you think of that? Mm-hmm. Like, well, he's been battling so much, he gives himself less time to make those punches more creative or sting more. I think that that's what I think it is. Because even when we was getting up to our battle, he had like three battles. The, the one battle the week before, one battle the week before that. And I'm just looking at his shit like, yep, good, good. Focus on these niggas. Don't get to me. Even though he still had some good material for me, right. but I feel like if he would have took the full month, that material would have been probably ten times better if he know. wasn't focus on a whole bunch I of just, other things. I just feel like sometimes... That's what I'm saying. He had a lot of battles. I just think at some point, like, sometimes, like, it's kind of like whatever you get too much of, it, yeah. it becomes like, you can eat filet mignon every day, and although it's a it's a, it's a, it's a high-valued meal... Right. You get bland you, after a while. I, it's like, I never got sick of filet, like, filet mignon, but I yeah. don't eat it every day either. Yeah. So I wouldn't no. know. No, you can't. But, you know. It's like it's like <laughs> chicken cutlets. I, you never nah, know. No, you couldn't. I'm telling you, bro. You after a while, know. you'd be like, oh, it's, it's like the movie with Chris Rock. He said, "I think I love my wife." He's like, he's like, I, I mean, chicken every day. She's like, "Where you going to get some duck?" Right, <laughs> right, right. 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 You, you don't appreciate it no more. Right. Correct. Yeah. And I think it's the appreciation. It's like, all right, cool. We've seen this before. You're the best puncher. You're the best. Right. Now what else? And I think we got that. I think his second against you was one of those. He's not just punching. He gave you a little bit of his life. Yeah, I, was yeah. I was like, I was yo, see that. Yeah. C3 got my man Nitty in the yeah, yeah, yeah. Salute yeah. to C3. We like that. See, hold on, real we quick, like message to Nitty. Remember in the face when like, he could say, ah, I make niggas get a different bag. And I said, likewise. <laughs> likewise. People get a different bag for Facts. me too. Look at that, Nitty. Yeah. Yeah. Look at that. Yeah, that's real. But we appreciate say, that yeah, though. I was disappointed that some people wasn't reacting to his bars because I'm on the side like, ooh, that was crazy. Right. And then they not reacting, I'm like, then I, that's what made me start thinking. What is like, it? Just, the death on three, like a cell phone keypad? Yeah, it's no, super. No, I, 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 I can't believe he, how did he even How did he think of that? Yes, Where, yes. How did he, 
Like, what were you doing when you thought that? Something was wild. Yeah, that was crazy. He had some fire C3 lines. Yes, yes, yes. I was gonna already hear the best C flips that I ever heard. I knew that shit. So I was low key reacting. I was about to say, I was low key hype. It wasn't really nobody in the room. Because remember, I was the second battle. So at this time, a lot of people still ain't come yet. Okay. So when I'm listening to him rap, and I'm like, oh my God. No, At least we, ain't no curry. No, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we was watching it like, yo, Nitty's going. Yes. Were, 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 were the girls allowed to react to the guys? Yeah, you could. Everybody yes. can react to was the guys. Was it was 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 though? But yeah. no, but the thing is, if you look later in the day, wilding. the girls were even wasn't even really reacting for the girls. Like it was like I was like the loudest one, like, whoa, feeling stupid. Like yeah. all right. <laughs> even Debo in the background, like, come on, y'all, like, what the fuck? Like they like, yeah, yo, ooh, like, wake right. the fuck up. Like, I don't know. I, I think in the case of Rum Nitty, um, maybe he should like go to jail what? or something. No. <laughs> no. Hey, uh, what, what, what? That's what? so sad. That's what I'm saying. Don't go to jail. We need you. We need you. That helps a lot. That math. That helps a lot. But yeah, shout out to him being a single he, fucking Yeah, he's a single yeah, dad. Yeah, that's dope. Yo, that, that was, was from Rum Nitty. Shout out to Rum Nitty. That was dope to Rum Nitty. That's what I'm saying. C3 brought that out. We got a different back. This Smack rapper, only smack rapper that you know is smack rappers. Got bars, I can hang with the backpackers. Trap star, I don't hang with the backpackers. I'm in the hood with the work you heard. Making fiends leave earth, you heard. Got your baby mama thirst, you heard. Feel the flow, nigga, throw it in reverse. This the wave you need to surf, you heard. Yo, Jim, I need a bomb, I could drop on you niggas. Bad boy, I'm never gonna stop for you niggas. I don't give a fuck who you got as the illest. I solidify my spot with 